Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back to our, our channel. channel. So today we're going to be talking about why giving up on friends is so easy. Like, do you guys have those kind of friends where the only time they call you is when they need something? Mm -hmm. Or you have those kind of friends that the only time they call you is when they are in pain. Don't get me wrong, oh. it's cool, but it's, really, it's, that's what friends are for. For you to um need them when you're in pain, mm -hmm. when you need something. Friendship is like Someone. communicating with people and um, using them to an, to your advantage. You're allowed to take advantage of your friends, friends but if, not too much. Yeah, but then you're even allowed to take advantage of your friends if he's working out in return. So you're allowed to take advantage of your friend in the sense that the two parties have the really less to benefit from each other. Exactly, you're meant to benefit from each other. So don't don't or don't let it be one side where once the person is always getting all the attention, all the love, all the support, then the other person is not giving it back to you. Exactly. So it's like the friendship is one sided. Exactly. I'm the one to stop me. I'm the one always calling you. I'm the one always texting you. Uh -uh. It doesn't work that way. That's not what the friendship is in the first place. And because of all those attitudes, is why it's so easy to give up on friends. Mm -hmm. Like, like now, okay, we won't say all of us are like best of friends, but like someone you know, like I feel friend being friends with someone is when. At this point of your life, they can tell you what you've done and what you've not done, mm -hmm. and then um, they can tell you what was the last thing you did throughout last week. <laughs> <laughs> like they week. know your every move. They might not call you every day, well, but they call at least you. call you once a week, or at least check up on you. Check up on you, and Genuine that's check it. Up. Right, but some people, when they feel their social media, they don't even bother to check up on you again. And the funny thing is that. There's social media, but hey, we just pass through, and when we see that this person is popping or this person is, um, this person uploads something about the person, so we feel oh, they are alive, and we don't need to check up That's on them. That's not checking up on somebody. That is definitely not checking up. On no, it's somebody. not. It's just like she saying, okay, that person exists. Yeah, because then I think like social media is affecting like relationships. No, I can't say that. I would never say social media is affecting relationship. Like I'll just say it depends on your personality as a person to allow social media to affect your relationship with people. There's some people that don't just even care and they just don't like it's not that they don't care so much, it's just that the fact that they don't see the need to um communicate with you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Social media, I think, is destroying the friendship because everybody just say, oh, you post pictures, so I guess you're fine. I may be guilty of that sometimes, but at least, like, everybody's guilty of it. It's a fact. No one is innocent. But there are some people that that's what they, as in, that's what they do on a wreck. They don't even care about it. That's why I just think social media is even making it hard for you to maintain friends. That's all I'm saying. Well, like you were saying, me, I don't think so because I feel... See, if someone is your friend, they're your friend. I hate public display of affection. And that thing works so, too much for me. It doesn't, I hate it. It doesn't work for me at all. But people feel when they do public display of affection, that's the way that you guys are still friends. When they upload you on their... He say la, he say la. When they upload you on their DP or upload you on their Instagram or Snapchat okay. and all that. Yeah, I don't see the need. Like, if you're my friend, let's communicate. You don't need to upload my picture every day for me to know I'm really important in your life. Then, there are just some times which is exemption, like, on your birthday and all that. But I feel like I have this, I just have this inclination that when you don't really talk to someone and it's their birthday, what well, you don't have that right. There, there's no need for you there's to post for them love. to be saying, hey, happy birthday there or something. That's no, you can just send them private message. And like happy, happy birthday, birthday and all that. Don't need to like be for me and all that. And me, my own social media feel funny enough. It's only for like family and just little friends that I know if you post they'll be happy. How many like, friends do you want? They're just <laughs> I think most of my friends they don't even like PD. They don't they just feel they just it's just overrated to them and all that. So this is a part of why 
it's so easy to give up on friendship and the funny thing is that everything boils down to communication and then again i think friendships that don't have any benefit like no spiritual no physical no financial benefit those kind of friendships die too because imagine i'm talking to you every time and you are not adding anything to my life like you can't make me become like a better person you can like if you're just useless and we're just talking useless talk and gossiping that's a horrible friendship i'm gonna cut you off because i'm too old for that there are some friendship that is just i'm a boy inclined ah, i call those friendships long long time away from like life. and there are some friendships that are just like Every time a person calls you, the person calls to complain that their life is not going this way, life is not going that way. And sometimes you just want to cut those people off because you don't want to feel ungrateful to God that wherever, whichever stage you are at mm -hmm. your life is not good enough. It's not that it's not good enough, but you want to strive better. But when someone constantly reminds you that they, they are suffering, then you, you'll be looking at yourself like, oh, oh, okay. I think the worst type of friends is the friends that make you feel sad because you are like you're privileged to an extent those those are not those are demons they are demonic people they mean that make you feel sad maybe ah, maybe this your hair is very long they, ah, it's because you can afford it so this your hair is long they don't make you feel bad ah, i made this long somebody can say when you pass suffering see how long your hair is you think it, ah, it's because you have i beg those friends and then me yeah, i hate friendships that you once it's one sided right and then you you're the only person always trying to communicate with the person and the person sometimes doesn't pick up the person's phone then at the end when you now see the person the person now open their dirty cutter and say oh you don't check up on me uh, and um you don't know what i'm fair. going through. you don't know what i'm going through when i'm the one that's always i remember and i'm like mm -mm. do you even know what me i'm going through me that those i always try to check up those on are, you those one you know i don't try to check up on you is not good enough you mm -hmm. know i thought those ones that make you feel bad about your privileges are demons these other ones are are are, are I don't what's the word I need they will just be collecting 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 for me ah god i do see i like gifts to give so if you give me i'll collect mm -hmm. but i barely call, get gifts and i'm not i'm not i've gotten a point in my life where i don't I'm care over it, exactly well, i'm over it. see i'm too old to be be angry with someone because the person did not give me a gift if i if it's my birthday and it's not coming when i ping you i'll just lash out and say it's not coming it has ended it doesn't mean I'm an angry person or some people have this code that they don't think birthdays are a big deal. I don't care if it's a big deal or not. I just feel you should call but me then they're if you remember it's a birthday. That your parents, you know, your mother put you out of a hoo-ha. That's important. She will have died. Oh, mommy. You will have died. Because, like, see, if you want to be friends with people, let it be a two-way system mm -hmm. whereby you guys come keep back and forth there's sometimes yeah i know that some people might not have a charge card or they might not have mobile data or something but at least Your try and, if someone calls like now or recently when people call me again i don't see the need to pick up because i feel i didn't know what they want or i feel maybe i didn't see the missed call i did not have credit so now cutting demands that even if it takes you a week to reply them, reply them and say, hey, I saw your missed call and I'm sorry I couldn't pick it up at that time. Okay, what's up? How are you? But some people, they didn't put that check. They didn't put that checking, calling rude, back. Rude, rude, That's just disgusting. Rude, like, boy. you shouldn't do that. Like, it's wickedness. Like, I can remember one time I was calling this my friend for, for over a year. She did not pick up. I was so sad. I'm like, ah, yeah, what so happened? Persistent. That yeah. the person did not pick up. At one point, I just gave up, and finally, if the person wants to come back to me, the person will come back to me. I cannot kill myself. Do you understand? Know there's some friendship. I read somewhere on Instagram that there's some friendship you should hold on to, no matter how distant they are to you, and there's some friendship you discard fast because those ones, the ones that you try to hold on to. They might have a little value to you and the ones that you try to discard they take so much from you they suck every living thing they are so toxic that you sometimes eh, you even be feeling burdened and guilty that you're not calling them or something like i don't want to be friends with someone that does not want to be friends with me i don't want to be your friend you know if you don't want to be friends with me like i'm not going to force myself on you like i'm over that <laughs> Like, I don't 
know, but really, me, I'm over that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to force to myself on you again in my life. I'm not even with the fact that, you know, I'm trying to make this paper, you know, trying to work hard. I'll not be carrying one friend that doesn't want to be my friend. No, 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 no. It just doesn't work out that way. And there's just some friends that they don't even believe in your dreams. God, they can yes, just see you. Those are the downers. They can you, just see you. Those are the downers. And they, they feel you down. because they, they are on top of the world. I don't even know. Should I call them? Um, some of them, they are hashtag um, small person, big God, or be something. Because <laughs> some <laughs> of them yeah. have yeah. one. These people are hashtag downers. They are terrible people. Uh -uh. This kind some of people should stay away from Because them. they don't believe in your dream, they will not be looking at it somehow. And, or they will not support you. I, I don't care if you support me any longer. As long as the road to success is really lonely. Yeah, because I think yeah. I, I had a friend so when I was it. trying to like do something in school. So I was not in ah, that me, I'm going for this. Okay, I was trying to do, go for like a president position in my student union. I was telling this my friend, I want to go for president. The person just looked at me like, oh, you can't do it, so it's not in you. Kini, kini. And I'm like, I just felt so down. I was like, what kind of person is that? How can you just say that? Even if in your mind, maybe me, me, I may not win. But it's your it's your right to encourage me to push me. I'd be like, yeah, oh, you can yeah. do, you can do. Like those are friends that you can't just motivate you. Like, that. you like you don't exactly. ginger your swagger. Swagger they ginger. Yes, your friends don't ah. always agree with every decision you do. Yeah, but they, they do. But you. they support you. They still come back and that help you different. out. Like you don't always have to. We know friendship is not easy. But then the work in it is what makes it amazing. Nothing is easy. Nothing and is sacrificing. Like, easy. like so how do you think friendship will be easy? It's impossible. It's not. That's why it's so easy to give up on on a lot of them. Yes. A lot of friendship. Like me now. Say. If you step on my toes, I give up on you. Don't waste my time. Got it. Got every friendship that is not benefiting me. Got it. it. Everything not benefit. So it's just like so. What I'm saying is that if you have it in you, not to give up on people, don't. But if you do have it in you, so that it will not make you have a potential and what is yes. give up on them. Any relationship will give you an attack that is just it, like give up on them. Then I have some of these friends. There are some friends that I don't know if it's a lame. I have some friends that they go out so much, and because you sometimes they are not, you don't like to go out and everything. They now decide that they don't want to invite you. No. I mean, I'm like you're I don't a like girl. you. You're a invite girl. me, boring babe. Keep on inviting me. One day I will come. Exactly. I, I will come. Surprise. One day I will come. I can turn up. You know. Don't understand. But One day I will come to the pa to the place you invite me to. Don't give up. Eh? Ah. So like friendships or like our relationship basically. If you have amazing friends, I think life will be amazing. But it seems like nowadays with everything, people are just giving up on friendship. No, some some sometimes it's not it. okay, they are giving up on friendships. But the thing is that there's a difference between friends you hang out with and true friends. We have party friends, just one wherever you see China so you see Chikodi, they are always hanging out. But when oh, Chikodi the party where they do for Lagos, <laughs> But when Chikodi is so sad, you can never find China. Mm -hmm. They will never be there with you. You will never find That's not a friend, the person. No. But I feel friends are the people you hang out with in every time and, and the, the worst are the ones that and the worst ones are now that when me I'm me I'm poor now, as I'm broke now, you know not be with me. When I'm sickly, I'm my you know, you know, remember, remember. Ah, you are my so friend. It's that we fire that your cellular is in Yaba. Using to call is in Yaba. Oh, is in Obongosho. Waiting for you to strike you. Don't ah. you dare call my number. Because if you're not with me when I'm poor now, ah, how do you think you'll be? You don't need to rich? know me when I'm rich. Don't try it. Thank like, you, dare. Those, in fact, those that traits will even make you know. What kind of person they are in the first place? You already know your true friends. You already have an instinct and an idea of who they are. So it's just like, but don't give up on friendship because my, our star says we 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 should give our friends some slack. We should cut them some slack. I know. Yeah, I you should cut all my friends, friends them a lot of slack. A lot. But me, I'm me, I'm very. But when it gets to yeah, me, I have no, I have no patience. I know, and I'm working on it. Like I'm trying to. You know, cut some people some slack. I'm trying, but there's some people not even trying to pay. Some people are not worth it. That's just a statement. 
So, thank this was you. This friendship rant. I hope you know something <laughs> from it. Friendship guess. rant. Exactly. Friendship rant. So, thank you guys for watching today's um, episode. So, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did. And if you did not like it, God bless you. <laughs> and please, don't forget to click on the link below. Subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe back for us. Mm -hmm. Subscribe back for our channel. Yup. God will bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you. And share, like, and comment, tweet, repost. Thank you, guys. Like, and you also share us your experience on how giving up with friends has been so easy for you. Because these are the things we just learned can make people give up on friends easily. Mm -hmm. So, bye, guys.